part of the show with, uh, with my guest, Waylon Payne. You know what? Hey, listen, honey, we have come a long way. And I'm going to tell you right now, if there's anything that I know beyond the shadow of a doubt is that I'm so thankful to be alive today um, and the experiences that we've all had. I mean, we're turning into, I mean, I don't mean this in a, in a weird way or anything because it's going to sound weird, so just mind yourself and don't take this the way it's going to sound. Uh, we're turning into the people that we grew up watching, you know? We're all on this path and, and suddenly overnight, we not overnight, but all, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? That, yeah. All of a sudden, we're kind of something a little bit and we're all holding to it. I'm really proud of us. I'm really proud of us. Awesome. Everybody in that group's gone on to do something great, you know? Of course, well, Travis. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, Waylon here was, from the beginning days of It Came From Nashville, we all started doing this at Genghis Cohen. And, uh, and it was shows. our little group. Talk mm -hmm. about talk about It Came From Nashville for a second. Wow, and well, um, I mean, It Came From Nashville basically was um, you and me and Travis Howard and Austin Hanks and Levi, Levi Christ. Christ, Christ, Chris. <laughs> and Sammy, Sammy played drums with us. Remember Sammy? That was awesome. Yes. Um, and it was just basically us sitting around for a couple of hours and swapping songs and telling stories, but we're all... And we would pack that room out. They'd have to open the second yeah. room just yeah. to accommodate and it was us. Like, <laughs> it, was a, it turned into such a deal, once you know, that we would, yeah, once a month, and, and everybody would show up a couple hours beforehand, and we'd all have dinner in, the, in this restaurant. Hey, I've got a funny It Came From Nashville story. Go. So, <laughs> besides Waylon... I'm going to interject this right now. You know what we're fixing to do when well, we get done here? We're going to Genghis Khan and we're going to eat Chinese food. All right, go to? trim. It's my go favorite. Go get some Queen's chicken. <laughs> yeah, if you ever visit uh, Hollywood, go eat Chinese yeah, food at Genghis Khan because it it's the delicious. best Chinese food ever. Shameless plug. But, Way <laughs> but Waylon, first of all, we have recordings of him going, how does everybody feel? <laughs> It was like, so for years we would all go, how does everybody feel? But anyway, but Waylon would, we did this so many years, and Waylon would sometimes go, hey, we'd be in the middle of a show, hey, guys, mind if I go smoke a cigarette? And we would, we would be, we would kind of know what's going on, and then like five minutes later we'd see him, we'd see his Cadillac -like riding down, <laughs> riding down the road, he would leave in the middle of the show. Anyway, Waylon does whatever, whatever Waylon wants to now, do. Now, let's go ahead and clarify exactly what was going on, because I can say this now as a healthy man. I was in the middle and the throes of an enormous, enormous crystal meth problem in those days, and um, everybody was really, really patient with me and really um, loving toward me. I wish more people would have kind of been firmer and really come out and said, hey, you know what, and, and, and been a little bit more. I wouldn't have listened. I but tried. You know, I know. <laughs> I didn't try. That's okay. Here you are, and you're healthy, We're live. and you're We're beautiful, live and, and I love yeah, you. It's good stuff. I love you so much. I love you, you know so that. Much. I know. Well, I know. You've always wanted to, to be probably, with me. No, now <laughs> that is not true. You're you the know. one who started hitting on me first. I know you hit on me in mushrooms. I didn't. We, we did were... mushrooms one night at my friend's Many house. Many years ago, I don't. I didn't yeah, like way them. long ago. <laughs> we were in Tucson, and it was a trip. It was a trip. She started wanting me that night, and has never <laughs> quit. <laughs> I think we were like married in a past life, or brother and sister, or maybe I was your mother. I don't know. In a past, well, who I don't could know, say? Who, who could but say? But we definitely have a connection. Yes, and, we uh, do. When I first met you, you just came off the road, actually, with that mean singing, woman? singing harmonies yeah. with uh, Shelby Lynn. Shelby Lynn, yes, ma'am. And uh, and you were you were tore up about it. And, I was uh, tore up. <laughs> and speaking of which, uh, you should do maybe do a little bit of Jesus on a Greyhound. Of oh, that Jesus on a Greyhound song. Yeah. You I know, did. Willie sold the family Bible for, I think, fifty bucks and. Heck, what's the worst that could happen? I sold this song for $7,500 to her, and uh, you know what it did? It helped me stay in Hollywood, and it helped me do what I needed to do, so there I you had, go, baby. I remember I had just met you, and you had all that cash, and I was watching you spend it, and I kept going, Waylon, save your money. It was blood oh. money, dude. You should have heard my mama bitch at me when I did that. Are you kidding? I can't believe you did that, You were buying said. everybody beers. It was blood <laughs> money, dude. If I was going to sell out, I might as well sell out. All for this one. Didn't she slap you in a bar one time? She slapped me in bars. She's punched me in bars. <laughs> she, uh, hell, the last she's time. She's from Alabama. She's from Alabama, Alabama, Alabama girl. <laughs> it's scrappy. all good. It I'm is sure all I good. probably deserved it. Aw. You know? Aw. That's about that. That's about that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, so you were also uh, the lead role in another big movie. You played Hank Garland I did. Uh, in the movie Crazy. Yes, I did. That was awesome. You that got a clip a of that too? Uh, yeah, can we, show, <laughs> can we show a clip of, from the movie Crazy? Well now, I would like to introduce you to some fine guitar players. 
Colonel told me Elvis said you were the finest guitar player he ever heard. If that's not a certified hit, I'll kiss every ass in this room! It's a new trick you've got. I'll bet that works all the time. We go into business together. We can own the music. Be your manager. No, man, be my eyes. Here's to having a hit record. Yeah. Standard release form, sign on the bottom. What happens if I don't sign? It sounds fine. It doesn't sound fine. Your brother's pissing some people off. He's playing with these colored guys who print this alley twice a week, and that ain't going over so well. He wants to be the famous Mrs. Garland. I don't want you to talk to him again. <laughs> I don't want you to. You got to go down to Music Row and deal with the company. Oh, I want you out of here now! You hide gun, Hank. Play your part and shut your mouth. Keep bringing these cats in here. There's going to be problems. What kind of problems, Doug? What you going to do? You asking for trouble, cousin. These redneck studio boys have muscle. Whatever you think the worst is, it's really ten times that. around you and I wanted that you like that thing more than me don't you no I've just known her longer Ranger, writer, one of the best goddamn guitar slingers ever, Mr. Hank Sugarfoot Garland. So um, you you got to work with Steve Vai I in did. that movie, right? You know, wow. um, and your guitar playing changed after that. Did he, you know, I've got to say this, and and this is another thing that I feel really ashamed about. But you know, we, 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 I'm going to go ahead and validate the fact that that um, I did have a huge drug problem, right? And so a lot of things that happened in my life and that I went through, um, I have to go ahead and own up to the fact that I was a mess on it. Now, during Crazy, I think that they knew that. I think that everybody knew I was kind of a mess, and they kept me under locked key and guard. I mean, literally, like, they would pick me up in the morning, drive me to the set. Someone was with me all day long. They would take me home and, and drop me off and be back two hours later to pick, you know, that kind of stuff. It was really structured and regimented mm -hmm. and I never I didn't party on that movie but I was so scatterbrained from coming off of it for 30 days you know what I mean because I wasn't I, it's just what it wasn't what I was doing I was trying to be diligent and, and work hard um, had I been in my sober mind I would have really enjoyed to take more advantage of what Steve was trying to oh, teach wow. me I mean, you know Steve uh, and he was such a kind person and his uh, his buddy Neil Citron was the one that kind of mostly taught me how to do that stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and say something real about that. That's not me playing in that movie. It's it's Steve. Uh, it's Steve's fingers or Neil's fingers at times. Big um, but uh, yeah, that was kind of a Jody. Daddy uh, wouldn't watch that movie hardly because he was like, that ain't your picking and I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, tell everybody, people that don't know, um, your dad is Jody Payne. He was. And, yes, he was. He's, he was Jody Payne, and uh, my mother was uh, Sammy Smith, the late great, both of them. Um, and Jody Payne was, uh, he was Willie Willie's, Nelson's Willie's guitar, guitar player, player for 34 for years. 34, 35 years. Um, it was pretty good stuff. And your mama, oh my god. My dear sweet mama. Oh, I'm so glad I got to know her. Uh, Waylon, you were with us on my, no, you were with us the night that my dream came true. Yeah, the, that's what the, I was about to talk about. The dream that I had since Grando, I was two, Grando yeah. Lockery. That's really um, true. What a special night was that. Yes, Waylon and his mom uh, got to perform at the Grand Ole Opry together and it was a dream come true for Waylon and, and she had not been on. She had not been on for a number like maybe, of years. Yeah, years. Yeah. And, uh, so we all went to Nashville together, and I got to be a part of that and backstage with you and your mama, and, and it was really, really something I treasure so much. And Me when, too. Yeah, Me it was too. awesome. That was good and, <laughs> and so and when his mom passed away, um, I got this beautiful bracelet, and I lose everything. I can't keep up with nothing. You still got the nothing. emerald? Um, <laughs> 
I was afraid you was gonna bring that up. <laughs> but I, I still have this. I still have That's this, good. I love this that. bracelet, and the, the emerald actually fell out. I didn't lose it. I don't it. think it was a real emerald. Okay, well, it actually fell out, and I looked down one time, and it, I was devastated. But it's okay. So, but this, I wear. I still have it. It's a miracle. It means so much to me. That's great. I won't perform or do anything without Sammy Smith's bracelet on That's me. That's awesome. And thank you for uh, giving it to me. That and means you're you. Welcome. You must have loved me during that time. <laughs> you know what? Here's this. I'm going to tell you exactly what what that was all about because um, I did get. Uh, some of my mother's jewelry, uh, things that people thought were not valuable, um, but that were the most valuable because my mama loved them. Um, and I was in such a bad way when my mother passed uh, that I ended up passing things out to people to hold because I knew if I kept them, I would sell them for drugs. And so most, and some things fell to that. I'm not, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, and I'm not proud of it, but. You know, uh, the things that I knew were important, I gave, you know, I gave you some stuff, I gave Dina some things, I gave Lori Morgan some, all the women in my life that I trusted that were really cool, and Edward's got the rest in the vault, you know, um, because uh, it's really important, you know, I guess. Uh, and your mom, Waylon's mom was like the, the original outlaw queen. She was she, pretty badass, Back I'm in not the 70s, lie. she was uh, an outlaw, she ran with Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson, and Johnny Cash. And the only girl, the only girl in that group. Yeah, you know? and so, uh, so, so for those of you who don't know who Sammy Smith uh, is, you, you now look her up. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, she, her big hit song was, uh, Take the ribbon from my hair. I don't think we can sing more of that. Do, it's okay, you can do. And shake it loose and let it fall. <laughs> Laying soft against your skin. Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Until the early morning light All I'm taking is your time So help me make it through the night Beautiful. Love it. Love Beautiful. Chris. Chris I love... Christopherson wrote that song. Yeah, I for love those him. Those of you who don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most country music people know. <laughs> Most they, country people do. They do. I love Chris Christ Chris Christopherson songs. Like that's. Me too. I mean, they're just all so great. He wrote our life. You know, yeah. I mean, it was, that stuff was, that's what we grew up on. Yeah. I'm addicted to people who write the truth and, mm -hmm. and are so real and honest. He told me one time, <laughs> he said, there is nothing wrong with the truth. And you sing it loud and you sing it proud and, you know. Mm -hmm. 